Ah, Gordon Freeman. Well, uh, this is a game called Vertical Kingdom. And it seems like you build up. Sometimes I just do the scientist voice, like, throughout my life. Just, just regular life. Uh, this seemed like a cool game, so I bought it, and here it is. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but you, you build cities on small lands by constructing over other structures. Yeah, there you go. I'm always down to find some new interesting game on Steam that maybe I hadn't considered previously. Ah, cards. Well, now, now you see why I'm interested. As you build new houses, you'll gain citizens. Your goal is to collect as many citizens as possible to unlock new cards. Check the, the box to see your current number of citizens. What box? Hmm. Building over existing structures is the key. The number of coins you earn when constructing a house is determined by its location and type of building within the blue circle. Minus one apple, minus one brick, plus one population, plus one donut. Okay. We'll get some, some new cards here. Oh, Gorgonzola. To use newly unlocked card, you must first purchase it. Simply press the buy card button located below the citizens box to access the card store. Oh, okay. Oh, the new card. Brick tower, build a brick building on top or at the sides at any height. It is time to build a dick. Oh, it just kind of adapts it into a pinicular building. That's, that's fun. With like a helmet and everything. That's cool. I, people like my commentary. One second. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. People pay for this commentary. Ah, pinicular buildings. Very interesting. Yeah, we don't have any new cards yet, so. I uh, can't really build more on top of things. Reaching a good amount of citizens, it's time to expand your empire by traveling to new places. Moving to new location comes with a cost, but it's worth it in the long run. Your objective is to meet, uh, to reach all the places. Oh. Am I good at this? I have climbed the holy mount horizontally. You may have aspirations to manage the capital. I must insist that I require your talents in other lands. The Empire will provide all necessary resources for now, but eventually you will need to gather your own. I saw some of the later game, and it is truly cool looking I mean right now there's there's not like a lot going on here it seems but clearly more things will continue to happen
Certain cards, such as the Brick Tower, have special symbol meaning buildings can be constructed both horizontally and vertically. Oh, shit. Well, I feel like I'm not getting particularly lucky right now with my, my draws. And I'm not going to have room for... Alright. Oh my god. Okay, well, they're, they're building that into, like, a horizontal thing, which is nice. Here we go. Here we go. Anchors may appear on the cliffs, which can be utilized to create more space for your city. The tower houses are capable of taking advantage of anchors. Had to. Ah! What the fuck is going on here, man? Oh, man. Oh, Wilbur. What's that? Oh, that's what the anchor houses can do. Okay. I don't want to build there, because then... Then I can't expand further. I think. Yeah, is it just me, or, or am I getting really screwed on the draw? My loyalty to the Empire has, has decreased. You did a great job. We completed all the goals. We can move on to the next place. Okay. Okay. One sec. I have to fix the pause button on my soundboard, or on my, uh, stream deck. I have the six button stream deck. It's not that great. Not enough buttons to truly do the things you need it to do, in my opinion. I need to gather my own food and water to sustain the population. Okay. Loyalty is the first resource on the list and can decrease if you discard cards or face specific situations. Running out of loyalty means lo losing the situation. Clicking this label discards all cards from your hand without any penalty. Oh, interesting. Okay. Labels can appear randomly. And you can gain various benefits. So this one is... It discards it, draws another randomly. Building like this can be constructed both horizontally and vertically. Right. Oh, look at that! Building card shows the required resources at the top. T indicates per turn requirement. For instance, if this building needs one brick, one food per turn, but offers one work and one coin in return. The resources you acquire from a building may differ depending on its location and the types of buildings present within the blue circles. This seems like a bad idea, but we're gonna... Ah, a well, only buildable on land. You get plus two water. No 
Oh, drop the seven cards. There are a lot of free discards. Wasn't expecting that. New card unlocked. Only buildable on land. Combine this card with Brickhouse to obtain farm level. Two. We're going to need some food. But I can't help but build panicular buildings, though. I'm sorry. I, it just, it just, you know, it's important. Or is it import taste? Important taste. Forgot to buy that card. Oops. No, Fuzzy, no! Looking this label discards the card without penalty. You receive five units of the resource shown. Five stone. Having different types of cards, such as residential agricultural, requires you to plan ahead and select which type of cards you want to receive each turn. Strategic planning is the key to success. Well, we need farming. This is good. Click on description to find out which one. By clicking this label, you combine both cards to obtain the upgraded version. Great architect, bad news. We don't have enough resources to meet needs of our city this turn. Each unit of unfulfilled resources will decrease loyalty by one point. Situation will negatively affect the loyalty and happiness of the city. If you have this card with this label and have two other cards in your hand the same label, clicking this label allows you to discard them to get an upgraded card. No, we don't. If you have this card with this label, another card in your hand with the same label, clicking it will discard both to obtain a destroyed building event card. I didn't leave enough room to build more farm. Oh, we're done here. Okay. And and that got more money because it was next to a well. Okay. I like the pixels. Or, those are good.
you ever think about the word bona fide and how close it is to bona fide? Yeah. Again, some people pay for this. Also, the growth of the city it is essential to uh, secure resources such as minerals marked on the map. And there's trading, too. Population of 50. Unlock and buy all cards. Okay. I'll keep this balanced. Whoa, platforms. That is cool. Airship. Airship. It's one of the reasons I ended up playing this game. I thought the airships looked cool. So I kind of wanted to build a bridge across, but I don't think that's going to happen. Unless there's like a bridge piece. Brick house you can build other brick buildings on top of. I don't have the money for that. Okay, I'm starting to see the flow of the game. Sometimes you will need some resources. Another way to get them is trading. You can trade resources from the city for other resources. You can only trade one per turn for now. But we'll trade wood for food. It's fine. Still can't buy that, All right. We don't have enough resources, okay. Great architect, good news. The crisis of lack of re the crisis of lack of resources seems over. Thanks for applying measures to fix the situation. What do I, what am I missing here for this one? Minus one water. Return minus four. Oh, maybe population. Yeah, we need a population. Times three. You have this card with this label and two other cards in your hand with the same label. Clicking the label allows you to discard them and get an upgraded card. Alright, well never mind.
we don't really draw enough cards for that. Getting a lot of water per turn. Ah, oh, look at that! There it is! Finally! This building has uh, capability to upgrade lower level buildings of the same type. That, that just gives a bunch more food, I guess. Can't build that. Don't have enough resources. The days. Ah, uh, yeah, no wood. Okay. Owner doesn't like to see the same house nearby. That can happen too. Oh. It's gonna hurt to build more wells. I just don't, I don't think I need them at the moment, do I? It's got a bunch of metal for no good reason. It's fine. We don't need platforms. We, we need residential, I think. Yeah, it's just residential. Just tons of residential will be good. Our food warehouse is full. The situation will bring stability to our city, so loyalty and happiness will increase. I like how the buildings combine. It's fun. One moment, please. happening here in this, in this area. I need oh I need this basic quarry requires a nearby nearby stone source activate its special label if possible to obtain quarry level two Discard this. My god, what am I doing? I don't have wood. I should have been doing that all along. I don't know why I didn't. A new card has been unlocked. Stone Tower. Ooh, cost is 50. I guess we gotta do some discarding.
Okay. Um, well, we got some wood finally. Kind of. Not really. Uh, <laughs> Got the upgraded well. That's fun. Okay, that happened. Well, that just happened. Buildings are very, very versatile. this now. Oh, we can move on. Cool. Okay, so we, we got the last card and map was complete. This, uh, I'm starting to see. I commend you to halt. I, oh, great grand architect. I command you to halt your expedition to the northern reaches of the realm. Until further notice, you have acquired invaluable skills and must now be refined to mastery. Meanwhile, our efforts shall be directed towards an exploration of the southern lands within the Empire with respect to the Emperor. I also just learned that Hades 2 early access dropped today, which I don't, I don't know if people actually knew that was happening. I certainly didn't. It's going to be a busy week. After the devastating war, we're facing a capital city in ruins, an empire near bankruptcy, and citizens with low morale. However, we are building a plan. Your mission, rebuild our capital, and bring it back the glory that it deserves. That it deserve, as a core for all the world. You will travel to different regions in order to build and expand our empire, get resources, we will need to create great wonders in the capital. Your brother is exploring the north right now. You will explore the south. Good luck. I didn't even know we had a brother. Region Serpents. Headquarters are ready. You can upgrade your camp by improvements to help you in the cities. Upgrades. <clears throat> so... The assistant is locked. You have to finish this region without any assistant in order to unlock an assistant. Oh god.
Oh, okay. Okay. I think this is roguelite. We found artifacts from an ancient civilization that will help on our journey. Discards all cards from your hand. You receive the same number of cards. Cooldown is five turns. During discard phase, you can keep one more card in your hand for the next turn. Clicking this artifact discards all cards in your hand. And you receive loyalty equal to the discarded hand, uh, cards multiplied by two. Let's do the ancient glove. Free resources. Clicking this card, all building cards in your hand change their initial building material cost to one. I mean, all of this is already one. Okay, please choose a reward. Uh, so this is different than the tutorial. Stone. Fertilizer. We've reached a new achievement. You've been rewarded with a new blazon. Okay. A new blazon. I figured, fuck it. this one destroy a building this should immediately close when you buy the card if there's only one card just personal opinion there Uh, wood. 
good. Uh, could get some food. Forest produces wood. Very high cost card. Dry land, only dry land. Clicking on this card, clicking this card, nothing happens. Oh, okay. Got it. Ah. We can move on to the next one. Ah, Gordon Freeman, go fuck yourself. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. If you leave the mission now, you receive 50%. Okay. I'm confused. A little bit. You found a good place for an outpost. The outpost could give resources per turn in the cities. Uh, we'll do sand extraction. Five bricks per turn. Floating islands. Numerous zero-density gems are within rocky terrain. They induce suspended earth effect. The islands are meticulously weighted. Maintaining balance to prevent ascension to oxygen-deprived places. Revered as celestial realms, these islands perched near the heavens evoke a divine aura. When you click this artifact, all houses in your hand will increase by plus two workers without increasing food. Cool down ten turns. Okay. This looks cool. We're, we're going to build zeal from Chrono Trigger now. Eternal Apple. Discard all cards in your hand. You receive an amount of food equal to the discarded cards multiplied by five. Logan Bremen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, each of these resets every time. There we go. 
Uh, could do trading. Not that I need to. I'm gonna try to trade for some extra moolah. Moolah acquired. I haven't said that in my life, I don't think. The word moolah. That seems stable. Temple gives loyalty and faith to the city. I don't, I don't know how they're going to get there, but good for them. Oh, I should have used the feather first. What have I done? Dirt cheap temple. They can't get there either. Oops. I think I pressed the wrong button. Okay, there's just now we have too many temples. building. I don't think we quite need to do that just now. New card. Residential, I guess. Oh, 
on another temple. I can't even build another temple. Mysterious beetle. Clicking on this card discards all cards. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Upgraded quarry. Sand extractor. Okay. Cool. Old camp with some people. You get clothes, they invite you and your companions to rest in their camp and you accept. After a long day, after a long rest, they tell you that some workers can join us in exchange for some resources. Okay. Create a stone quarry outpost. Desert flatland or floating islands. I want the floating islands again. Those are fun. I haven't even used those items yet. Oh wait, you don't use... I guess you do use them. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we don't have the 3x stuff. Nor do I have the upgrade here. music uh, all sleep like going to your favorite massage parlor That was the... Yeah, I can't even place this quarry anymore. What have I done? Ah, oh, I keep pressing the wrong shit. many quarries. Got an upgraded one. Got an upgraded one of those. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting this. Upgraded well. Another farm. What could we use? We could, we could use more metal.
Oh, we get uh, upgrades that go... Okay, there's upgrades upon upgrades now. Can't buy this thing yet. We have to get rid of this mining stuff because it's, it's not doing me any favors right now. It kind of is a little bit. Too expensive. Okay, so platforms. Construction. Residential. Sand Yep. Okay, uh... Hmm. I think you have to increase the level of the city overall. Two sand extractor. well. Instead of replacing, I think if you place a new one, it's actually better. I think. Metal, uh, shit, wood. Yes. Yes! Hang on, what is this? You can keep one additional card in your hand when discarding. The number of turns you need to plan ahead increases by one. But you get new stuff. Production is, is quite high right now.
stone pillars... I don't really know if they do anything more than just look cool. Not that it needs to do anything more than that, necessarily. Guardhouse. Gives loyalty and security. Progress points for that. The church, the holy church, is not here. Thank you. Thank you. The church. Mysteries of the church. Oh, that's interesting. You can combine buildings like that. That's that looks kind of weird. Oh, that costs 50, though. Material costs of new church, one. A significant number of citizens are beginning to demand a new need. A new need. A 50 population faith is required. Well, we have faith. We've, we've got a church. They want more religion. Love it. Okay. Sand extractor has been leveled. We could move on now. Okay. Or can we can we buy a card? found an old camp with some people. We hired the workers. Desert Flatland. Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Residential construction mining? No, residential farming mine construction. Not that we need bricks, really, but really. Uh, 
We need platforms. Not gonna be able to build too much unless we have platforms. Start there. We will probably need wood. So I'm gonna trade bricks for wood. cooldowns. I, I'm still learning. I think that would have been good to, to use all my stuff and then press that button. I think. Very, very interesting game concept, and it's starting to make sense. Like, you know, what this actually is. Right, we got a 3x. Triple 3x. Like Vin Diesel. Well, just dropped. That's as far as we're going with that one. Watering can. Uh, I don't think that worked out so great. All right. Like I said, still learning. This just looks cool now. Uh, wood would have been nice to get. No wood, though. Okay, we'll upgrade that. And, uh... You do have to buy the church every time. Which they love, mind you. On clicking this card, all house cards in your hand will increase by two. Okay. 
massive fucking tower right there. We have no wood. And we're running out of food, too. Uh... Food problem kind of solved. I don't have any room to put this on its own. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I have one spot. One spot. That, that would be good. What are we missing? Wood. Yes, we are. That's 15 wood for that one. No wood here still. Produces wood. The basic woodcutter building can gather this resource. We don't have the woodcutter building. I also realize I don't have room for a church. I have to place it on, like, rocks or something now. Huh. I gotta discard like all of these. Oops. Alright, I fucked up. I flew too close to the sun. And built too many platforms. <laughs> That's not, that's not the move. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, there's no point in me building this much. Can we do further trading? No. Damn, okay. That doesn't, that doesn't look safe.
No wood. Ah, oh, man, give me the wood. They need faith, and I have no faith for them. None. Hell, I barely have enough food for them. Gobs of cash, though. Gobs, heaps, loads. <sighs> I was hoping for the forest to show up, but I, I don't have the, the ability to, like, use the forest properly anyway, so what does it matter? Wait until we get enough faith. Destroy building. Or wood to build that, rather. Oh, here we go. Something. Fuck, I'm gonna do with this, but alright. Now I can build a temple. Finally. All right, and and we need more food now. They need health now too. Oh jeez, population's too big. houses don't even make any sense. Only buildable on land, so yeah, we're not going to get enough food. Well, we have a surplus of food for a while. That would have been the food building, huh?
Shame you can't build this on top of another thing. Really kind of screwed myself here. Alright, well, we're not going to get the thing to mine that anyway, so fuck it, right? That looks fine and normal. Oh, thank God, I did it. All right, I learned a valuable lesson here today. You don't have infinite resources <laughs> to build a bunch of crap. across a cave adorned symbols of our glorious empire is a refuge used by an ancient explorer you find a place to rest but upon opening the chest you realize it's empty here's a wonder Build the wonder. This is the end of the earth, a wilderness with a few buildings from the ancient civilization. Fog is slowly moving. They're investigating it. Welcome to a map with a wonder. You have to build a wonder as an extra objective to complete the map. You can see the starting and per turn cost to build the wonder. Once started, the wonder will take several steps to complete. yet. Okay. Okay, so yeah, things got a little bit, um, let's say, more, more interesting than I expected.
definitely more interesting. What don't I have here? Wood. Wow. I just want to keep the fucking the food building. Wood. Holy shit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. This got very cool, this game. It took some time for me to understand where its depth is coming from, but now I really like it. I build a fucking monster sand extractor now. I don't really need platforms, do I? We don't have, what, workers, right? Workers. I keep getting myself in the same predicament. Pick on this card during this turn when building. Buildings will not have placement restrictions over other structures. residential shit. Definitely gonna receive wood. We still don't have a building to, to cut wood. Oh, okay. That's gonna take a while to get. Fucking dry earth is really, um, taking up too much room here, huh? More food. Okay, I'm gonna get the money this time. We, we luckily have enough wood. Thank you. 
boat. Now I think we can get some platforms for no good reason. More residential too. get level two we need well we need to unlock more of this crap enough progress points all right uh... okay a ton of extra food from that Man, I really wish you could build a cross. That would look so cool. Our warehouse is full. New needs have just dropped. All right, citizen needs platforms. Why not farming residential? just dropped they won't touch all right water uh, we can get money for future buildings. I think we're, we're good on every other resource. Not enough progress points. Okay. Well, we got this. Military menus unlocked. Resource exchange exchange in trade is increased by one. Increased by one. I can read. The city will begin to experience attacks from groups of enemies. Oh. 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 That guard tower would have been nice. Uh, shit, huh? How about that shit? Our army is just zero. right now.
we will need new food. Clinic. Significant number of citizens. Okay, well, that's we already got that seventy population. Okay. Most ideal spot, but that's fine. Our army set up traps, sabotage the enemy, train your soldiers. build more spying facilities. Hmm. People need more Jesus, apparently. All right, uh, let's see what we've got. take the money. Okay, now we can build a... Yes. There we go. Trains military units every turn. They need education. Huh. Be no education.
Yeah, military. Military. Residential, residential. Uh, I don't have the ability to do education. But we, we need farming again, I think. Guardhouse. this at all. I do. There. But yeah, it's probably necessary. Train your soldiers. Oh. Okay, never mind that. need wood anymore. That was like the most scarce thing ever before now. Not so much. Our army is ready. Guards. 415. Attack with the guard. Your guards attack. Enter enemy... <laughs> Enemy. <laughs> Enemy guards suffered zero injured. The battle has been lost. As, as Grand Architect, you feel the disappointment of the defeat. As a result, the enemy has obtained 10% of your resources. You have lost 10 loyalty. Today's a great day for the Empire, it said. That's fun. This building ideally would have been moved over. And I don't know why I didn't do that from the start. We're also running out of food again. All right, well, just cover that up completely. in the negatives with our coins. The military is very expensive. I didn't realize how expensive they were, but holy shit. They want leisure now. Oh, I made a little sky bridge. That doesn't make any sense. 
Why can I do that? Behavior gathers. We're already uh, out of food again. Oh god, I forgot to start building this. Oh my god. This whole time. Oh, I done fucked up. I lost. I forgot about that entirely. Oh no. Costs 50. Oh, yeah. I, I really screwed up, didn't I? Well, now they get education. I have to start. Wait, what's this? You have a card with this label and another card. Oh, okay, I need a couple of those. Still so much to learn. Here I am just going about my merry way, like everything's fine, just gonna continue building a nice little town, and then I remember, oh god, I gotta build a pyramid. <laughs> Fuck. And I don't have enough food for my people either. I have no money, I have no food, I don't know what to do. Like, I have to generate money and I don't have any. I, I fucking spend it frivolously.
Seems like I probably need to buy that. I will begin. I will proceed building the pyramid. I don't know where it's going to be built. It's not even a pyramid, but yeah. I'm going to have to buy that market. I don't know. Uh, food's not gonna happen. No one, no one is, no one here is getting food anytime soon. Maybe we can trade for it. Something. Specials. Um, I prepared by, by making too much military. I over prepared, you should say, I could say, yeah. This building is too fucking. has to be placed appropriately. Okay. Son. Oh shit, something good just happened. I think we're generating a little bit of money now. I don't know if that's only because of the restriction removal, but I, I think this should have been placed here, right? Yeah, you need like a lot of extra room for something like this. Otherwise, just no bueno. Shame I can't build back there. Hmm. Might have to destroy some buildings. Also, the negative 48 food is just insane right now. Bricks export marker. Yeah, I can't place any of this.
Gotta learn how to use platforms. Wisely. And learn how to destroy buildings wisely. 33%. I mean, I might... Serve oh, wait, no, I don't. Look at, look at the amount of food. <laughs> oh, my God. Sucks this stuff is only flat ground only. Like for food. Yeah, that's 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 kinda of fucking me right now. I mean I am aware of how I have uh fucked this on my own, well and truly, regardless. We don't have enough resources to meet the needs. Loyalty is gonna go way the fuck down. We need to remove the restriction somehow. No, I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna survive this, are we? Hey, a park. See, they're happy. No? helps a lot that you can build these on top of buildings, which I didn't realize. Well, actually, I did realize that. I just ignored it. I was like, no, destroy. But again, it's like f having enough room So this game is cool. Uh, it, it yeah, I thought like, oh, this is so easy. What's well, how do you even fuck up a game like this? But now, I very clearly, very clearly. <laughs> I'm aware. The game is really unique. Really, really interesting. Obviously, I like the card aspect. I like the building aspect. It, it does a lot of things that are very enjoyable. But, uh, yeah, just be sure to learn how not to place things frivolously. And remember to build your pyramids. But glad I played this. Anyway, that's Vertical Kingdom. Goodbye. Gordon Freeman.